Hello, today with Caleb we are back doing a huge pickups video, huge, <laughs> uh, from Pamela, the video game movie dome, and this is going to be a big, uh, <laughs> big pile of movies, so strap in, get you some popcorn, get you a drink, uh, Coke, Dr. Pepper, whichever you prefer, Pepsi, if you're one of those people. <laughs> uh, but strap in and we're just going to dive right in. We are saving some uh, cool collectible collector sets at the end of the video, so stay tuned for those. We will dive in depth, show you everything that's included in those box sets. We have comics, we have Blu-rays, we have DVDs, uh, so let's just dive right in with the DVDs, starting out with the bang, with the Warner Brothers archives. Those are so neat. Night of the Lepus, and I do, I might have this on VHS, I have to double check, but I couldn't pass on archives. Pamela, I send her maybe ideas or things that I'm trying to collect for, a list of movies sometimes, and she'll go through and see. Most of the time she has it, uh, nine times out of ten I would say. She does have a Facebook uh, page, The Video Game Movie Dome, so go check it out. Also, a YouTube channel now, um, more recently, uh, so check that out. If you're in the area of her store, she has two stores now, go check them out. But Night of the Lucas, then Jackie Gleason and Steve McQueen, Soldier in the Rain. I never knew they did a movie together, so that's great. Obviously, growing up, with the Honeymooners, uh, that was a good show, and the, uh, the Hustler with, uh, with <laughs> Jackie Gleason, I'm trying to think of the other, Paul, uh, wow, how can I, Paul Newman, there we go, that movie, then, I think this is also an archive release, but I could be wrong. Uh, Summer Stock, Gene Kelly, which I always get movies he's in, and Judy Garland. If you've seen the recent biopic, she went through a lot of stuff after Wizard of Oz. So, interested to see this movie. Then Wildcats, I did have on VHS, so that's an upgrade. Beautiful cover. Love Goldie Hawn, so that's, that's a good one to pick up. The Green Knight, I've been wanting for quite some time. I do hear it's quite unusual, quite weird, but I've been looking forward to getting that for a while. This an upgrade from VHS. DuckTales, the movie Treasure of the Lost Lamp. Then we have three Kim Possible. Uh, they loosely call them movies, but some are compilations of the series. This probably my favorite, Kim Possible, A Sitch in Time. I love this movie. Uh, Multiverse, kind of before the multiverse was a thing, so that's neat. Uh, so the drama, the top secret extended edition. So this being, I think, the first movie, and then the Sitch and Time was after. Then this is a the secret files. Again, I believe this is just a compilation of episodes. I could be wrong. 
Yeah. So that's oh never before seen episode. Then we have the Sissy collection. This includes Sissy, Sissy the Young Empress, Sissy the Faithful Years of the Emperor, Forever My Love, Victoria and Dover. So quite the collection there. Rami, Rami Schneider. I wonder if that's any relation to Rob Schneider. Huh. Does it? So interested to see that. Then another upgrade from VHS, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2 Disc Ultimate Collection Metal DVD Steelbook. And that's that's great. Toby Hooper. Probably uh I hope this might be controversial, but the second one <laughs> uh, is, well, neither one are really fun because they're horror movies, but that one has uh, Matthew McConaughey and Renee Zellweger, right? <laughs> but uh, cool to have this on Steelbook. And then we have Mutant X Season 3. And this is, for whatever reason, pretty hard to find out and about, especially the complete series. I want to say maybe the complete series is another region. Uh, this is region one, but I think if you get the complete series, maybe it's a different region. Then we get to some sealed DVDs. Starting off with one of my childhood favorites, Three Ninjas. Very cool. We uh, would hang out with a friend and we all loved Three Ninjas. One year, we all three dressed as each of the Three Ninjas. I liked Red, so of course I was Rocky. I think he was Colt, and I think Josh was Tum Tum. <laughs> so, that's very cool. Comment down below, did you ever dress as the three ninjas? Then Dustin checks in. I think I have this uh, sealed on clamshell as well. Did it get a Blu-ray release? I don't think so. So I think I have both formats factory sealed for dust and checks in that's pretty cool and r.i.p paul rubens he was pretty great in this movie great in anything pretty much he did but great in that then the shadow the shadow knows this is a great film factory sealed and we're keeping the factory sealed sealed we're not unsealing it there's a video uh, on that. I think we'll release maybe after this. Unsealing Factory Sealed Media. But this is great. Have it on Blu-ray. So this will keep sealed. I keep saying the same things. We're keeping that sealed. But such a cool art piece there. Poster. Then we do come to some graphic novels of Avengers Infinity War. Incredible Hulk had in plain sight. The Incredible Hulk uh, transfer of power. Green Lantern New Guardians The Ring Bear Volume 1 and this has uh, some art sketches. Let's see, I'm pretty sure, maybe. Yeah, character sketches. So that's neat. Then this is Secret Origin Green Lantern Jeff Johns. Then Winter Soldier, the complete collection. 
And this has, I think, storyboards at the end. Yeah. So that's neat. Maybe tap into their mindset. That's great. Drew it by pencil. Then we get to uh, some Blu-rays here. Top Gun. I had Top Gun Maverick, obviously, on Blu-ray DVD. So I wanted to upgrade this. I believe I had it on VHS and DVD. Again, some movies I try that where I get VHS, DVD, Blu-ray. So we're trying that for Top Gun. And this is a collector's edition with mini poster and decal. And those are both still inside. This was factory sealed, but I did open it. Because who wouldn't want to watch Top Gun on Blu-ray? Then same with Christmas Vacation. I uh, believe I have this on v VHS and DVD. Actually, the National Lampoon's VHS box set, all four are factory sealed. And I think I have it sealed on DVD, if I'm not mistaken. So good to have that on Blu-ray. Then Alice in Wonderland, I believe had it uh, with a printed case on DVD and I love this cover with Giant Depp as the Mad Hatter so that is indeed an upgrade then Batman and Robin have the two disc deluxe edition on DVD needed it on Blu-ray even though this movie almost calls the, the fall and into comic book movies on the big screen. Still nostalgia because that was right around our childhood. Watched Batman and Robin on Halloween night uh, on TV and we that's when we started collecting more toys. Uh, I think that was almost the year we, we bought this house. I think maybe three or maybe four four or five years after that, maybe longer, but uh, we clean houses and this guy, this little kid, so always jealous, they had the coolest stuff, they were rich, but uh, he had the complete toy line for Batman and Robin, every vehicle, every motorcycle, he had five versions of Robin, six versions of Batman, all every <laughs> every every toy on the back of that toy line, he had it. So anyway. <laughs> then we get to a cool steel book, Ten Cloverfield Lane. And I love that that they're both this one's kind of off kilter, which he is kind of off kilter in the movie. Then this one, that is a lovely still book. Then, uh, and I did have that on Blu-ray, so that's kind of a semi-upgrade. Same with this, Uncle Drew. That's a cool cover there. Kind of reminds me of the old school video games like NBA Jam and stuff. Then the last steel book, Highlander, and I believe we had this on VHS, so that's a pretty good upgrade there. 1408 had on DVD. Princess and the Frog also on DVD. Uh, comment down below, are you excited for the Tiana re-theme of Splash Mountain. I didn't ride Splash Mountain every trip, uh, but it was nostalgia for me. Being one of the first big rides I rode back in 1993, uh, four years old, four and a half. Uh, so 
we'll see. I'm, I'm optimistic, but from what I've heard, there's not as many animatronics. So that's kind of a bummer, because Splash Mountain filled with animatronics. Then seriously read uh, about Dolly Parton. So interested to check that out. Then John Wick 4. I know I'm late to the party on this. Still have yet to watch it. Hopefully before the fifth one comes out, we'll watch <laughs> this one. It's sad for that, especially that car scene. Then the Sword in the Stone had that on. I think I just had that on VHS. So that's a good upgrade. Mystery Men, one of my favorite superhero movies of all time. Ben Stiller, Paul Rubens, uh, a star studded cast. Greg Kinnear, Hank Azaria, William H. Macy, I get pretty much anything he's in. So that's great. I, again, I think I have this on VHS and DVD. So, completing the trifecta there. Treasure Planet, one of the most underrated animated classics from Disney. Such a great movie. I wish they, they've been on a live action kick. I wish they would do a live action Treasure Planet. Maybe that's in the works. Hopefully. Of of one that needs a remake or live action upgrade of a movie, Treasure Planet is one of those movies. Snow White and the Huntsman, I believe that's an upgrade from DVD. West Side Story, uh, I didn't have this at all, so <laughs> I don't know if you consider that an upgrade. Not better than the original. But there are some cool dance sequences in the film, a cool, some cool choreography. Uh, the actress is kind of in a lot of hot water right now. Uh, but I enjoyed uh, West Side Story. I watched on Netflix. Strange Road, still have yet to watch it. Uh, Box office wise, it kind of bombed, so I'm interested to see why that is. And you know, Disney has been struggling lately, so <laughs> I could see why it might struggle. Bad Boys on Blu ray have one and two on DVD. Flitch, all time classic Chevy Chase, that's an upgrade from. VHS, T3 have on DVD, and I enjoy this movie, maybe not as much as T2, because that, that's like all time best movie, like it, that would be on a lot of top tens, maybe even top fives, but this is a pretty decent film. And the robot is female this time, which is a cool twist. But, you know, him carrying the casket, having like a big machine gun. Like, that's Arnold in a nutshell in most of his movies. So that was cool to see. Mickey's Once and Twice Upon a Christmas, a double feature. I think I just had these on VHS. So that's an upgrade. When we moved and traveled a lot uh, as kids, going church to church or whatever, we had kind of one laundry basket full of movies we could take or have. Uh, couldn't really collect much back then because we moved all the time. But Mickey's once Upon a Christmas made that cut, along with, of course, The Mummy, The Mummy Returns, uh, House of Mouse, the Christmas special that was in there. 
mostly Disney back then, but there were a few non-Disney that made it. Once Upon a Forest was one. And speaking of that, I think Aladdin King of Thieves was in that stack as well. Uh, Return to Far. We had a long discussion with uh, a girl in our visiting a Sunday school class. She was adamant that Robin voiced all three Aladdin films. And if you know the history, you know that Robin did not come back for a return to Jafar because in his contract he didn't want his likeness of the character Genie in the promotional toys or Happy Meals or he didn't want his Genie being the focal point. He took a pay cut for that. He just wanted to make something for his kids. When Genie was in all the promotion, he's like, okay, I'm not coming back for the second one. I'm trying to think, comment down below who voiced the Genie in the second one. It's right on the tip of my tongue, I can't remember his name. Then Jungle Book upgrade from DVD. Million Dollar Arm upgrade from DVD. One of the nicest celebrities we've ever met, John Hamm, such a cool guy, met him on the set of Keeping Up With The Joneses. Our grandmother is in a featured extra, which means extras are usually like walking in the background, like when we were on Criminal Minds season two, I, I, I believe uh, the female Jack the Ripper, Jones, we're in that episode and we are just walking in the background. But our granny was like in a main shot when the, when the house blows up, she's in her rocking chair. She's in a few scenes. We took her uh, to film and John Hamm was kind of just in his trailer hanging out, kind of just sitting there watching. So we got the courage to go up and ask, uh, or we were just talking, and he's like, do y'all want a, a selfie with me? We're like, of course we do. Why would we not? <laughs> <laughs> then we kind of got in trouble a little bit with the people but we, we weren't getting paid, so, you know, we didn't really care. Our granny was working, and she obviously wouldn't get in trouble. We didn't get in trouble. We just, they said no more photos, but we got it, so <laughs> that's all that matters. Moneyball uh, Brad Pitt. This is Upgrade from DVD. The Book Thief. This is another upgrade. This uh, being a printed case that I had from Blockbuster. Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. Uh, it's hard to have this completing the Shangun Guardians trilogy. Uh, comments down below what you thought of this third film. Kind of brutal at times. Kind of... Uh, I won't say hard to watch, but the subject matter with uh, dealing with Rocket's backstory can be hard to watch. Nonetheless, a good, solid uh, third entry into the franchise. Fast X, the collector's edition. Still have yet to watch this. I need to watch it very soon. But it's sad to have this Jason Momoa, I hear, is off the wall crazy in a good way. So that's fun. Hopefully this is pretty good. Kind of doing a recourse because Fast 9 was not a great film. Fast 8, okay. They kind of 
are dipping in quality each time. Hopefully this kind of returns us kind of to six and seven around there. Fugitive, same thing with this. We have VHS and DVD. We have the Blu-ray now completing the trifecta. Tangled upgrade from DVD, very underrated film. Uh, love Tangled. Monsters University, this is upgrade from DVD. Good Dinosaur, probably probably still the worst Pixar movie. I don't know, I haven't seen the Elemental yet. Uh, but that kind of climbed back in the box office. It started as a bomb, but I think it broke even or almost broke even. It didn't lose as much money as they were predicting. But for whatever reason, I do not like this film <laughs> at all. But being Pixar, I decided to upgrade it to Blu-ray because why? <laughs> anyway, we got that. I'm trying to get all the Pixar in Blu-ray format at least. Speaking of Pixar, we got a few more. Ratatouille, great film, one of the best. I enjoyed the ride at Epcot too, even though it was a transplant from Disneyland Paris. Still a great ride. A Bug's Life, uh, great artwork too. If you remember Adam's video, he showed off my mini VHS variations of a book's life. I think I go into detail in one of my previous movies where I show off each one and explain the different or why I collected each variation. Essentially what it is is each VHS release had a different character on it so you had to collect each character right? Right? No one else did that? Okay. Cars 2. Again, not one of my favorite uh, Pixar movies, but again, trying to get all the Pixar on Blu-ray. Now we'll flip around and show the two collector sets. We start first with the Singing in the Rain uh, Anniversary Ultimate Collector's Edition. And this kind of shows you a glimpse of what you get. Then this is the box cover. And you can see here we are numbered out of 75,000. Limited edition. You know, that's pretty neat. And I love the cover there, the artwork. That's neat. Then we get to this book, which has a lot of cool things about the movie. Kind of some behind the scenes photos, some scripts. Just uh, a cool glimpse into the film. Then we get to uh, reproductions of the theater display posters. So these are lobby cards and these are the three inside. I would take them out but they kind of are hard to get out or put back in but these are the three lobby cards that you receive in this envelope. Then you do get the umbrella which, you know, I won't take it out of this because I did take it out once. And there's this plastic thing. Then there's this kind of bag that holds the, uh, the umbrella inside. But it is very hard <laughs> to get out. But this is what it looks like. And that is very cool. Very cool umbrella. And that's a cool tie-in to have uh, with Singing in the Rain, because it is in the rain, 
and there's a lot of umbrellas in the movie. 60th anniversary, Singing in the Rain, and I think this has two discs or three. Two disc DVD and one Blu-ray. So that is great. Then you get some kind of still shots. That is neat. Then we get to the Days of Future Past Special Edition uh, kind of collector set. <coughs> Excuse me. I get the ultimate, it includes the ultimate edition, Blu-ray, Blu-ray 3D, digital, so that is neat, and this is uh, factory sealed, and you get Magneto's helmet, which is awesome, kind of tightly, uh, compressed in there but this is a little stand for the helmet if you take it out I will probably keep it in this styrofoam plastic but that is a cool helmet well probably like a one-fourth scale I would imagine but those, these are great sets glad to have them in the collection that will do it for this video again if you need movies in your collection go contact Pamela for all, all your movie needs <laughs> she she will do her best to hook you up like subscribe share with a movie lover until next time keep collecting <laughs>